Now, your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Stephen Bowers. All right, I'm going to start with a look back in time. We're going to go back two weeks to a week of broken record high temperatures. This started on the 25th of September, that Wednesday. And through Sunday, we broke record high temperatures every day. We broke a record morning low or the warmest low ever on that date, Saturday the 28th. And it didn't stop there. All last week, Monday through Saturday, we broke record highs. We were tied record highs each day. So we had 11 days in a row ending Saturday with record warmth. Sunday, we didn't quite get there. But look, Tuesday, we're one degree shy. Wednesday and Thursday, that's record territory. And look, we're still tying records on Friday and Saturday with highs of 85 degrees and 83 degrees, respectively. This finally shows some signs of shutting down after Saturday. That's the good news. But it's going to take us some time to get there. And in the meantime, more record high temperatures could be broken or at least tied. We've got a few showers to our west. They do seem to be trying to drift to the east. I don't expect them to make much progress because as they blow into this area of high pressure, they just kind of die. The reason for that is for rain, we need air to rise. And in high pressure, air tends to sink. That's causing another problem, too. It's keeping all the fire from the, uh, the, the smoke from the fires, the wildfires, uh, really close to the ground. So these fires that are burning up here over Idaho, Montana, and even Wyoming, they're blowing right into our area, and that high pressure is just not letting that smoke rise up into the atmosphere and disperse into the upper level winds. So we have some smoke. It's fairly light concentrations, and that's the good news, but it's high enough that it has the potential to be uh, an issue. So this is a forecast for near surface smoke. You see the lighter blues are the lighter uh, areas of concentration. The darker blues and the greens down by Nucla, that's where we have the biggest concentration. But as you see, it's very spotty for the bigger concentrations. Bigger concentrations still are over here around Denver and the greens and the oranges and the reds. That's where it stays the biggest. But over here, we keep it fairly light with patchy areas of slightly higher concentrations of smoke. And that's about as bad as it gets for us which overall is good news, but you'll notice the smoky haze in the sky through much of tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, and especially into Wednesday morning, we'll start noticing that smoky haze beginning to break up and diminish just a little bit more. So some good news there. Now, we do need some rain, too. Uh, we've got the new drought monitor from Thursday. This is released every Thursday, by the way. And for about the western third or so of uh, Mesa County here, we're now considered abnormally dry. This is mostly west of Grand Junction. But it is an indication that, yes, we do need some precipitation. And if your garden's still going, great. We haven't had a freeze yet, so these are still mostly healthy. You're just going to need to water every day through at least Saturday. As far as tomorrow goes, we'll be dry, but we'll have a few clouds around in the morning with 50s at 7 and 8 o'clock. We'll warm to near 60 degrees by about 9 o'clock. And then on the way home, we're mainly talking lower 80s with a brighter sky and a little bit more sunshine. 83 was the high today. Well, it's one degree shy of the record of 84. 50 was our low temperature this morning, way warmer than we should be for this time of year. Now, we still have the smoky haze, and we've got some hazy sunshine overhead. 81's the temperature right now, and we'll step down through the 70s through 7 to 8 o'clock and into the upper 60s by 9 o'clock. Lows in the morning will be as mild as 52 at Grand Junction. Upper 30s and low to mid 40s are common elsewhere, and then tomorrow afternoon, that's up to 84 at Grand Junction, and then upper 70s and lower 80s for the rest of us. So the seven-day forecast is a dry one. It's a warm one with highs in the mid-80s around Grand Junction. Lows are mostly going to be in the low to mid-50s. But you do see some cooling by Sunday and Monday, and perhaps a chance for rain that enters the forecast late Sunday night and into Monday. That may be a bigger deal farther south around Grand Junction, but still Grand Junction has at least a chance for a few showers. Montrose, you're looking at upper 70s through Saturday with mornings in the low to mid-40s. In Delta, expect low to mid-80s for high temperatures those morning lows are going to be in the 40s. And then in Cortez, it's mostly lower 80s through Saturday. And morning lows are going to be in the upper 30s to lower 40s.